target airplanes for the United States Navy, including the F-4F Wildcat, the F-6F Hellcat, after World War II, the F-8F Bearcat, the F-7F Tigercat, and continuing in that tradition, one of our generation's most famous airplanes, the F-14 Tomcat, which served for over about 32 years with the United States Navy and was retired back on September 22nd of 2006. But this is one of the early ones with a big radial engine, 1,700 horsepower. It has 14 cylinders, two rows of seven cylinders. It's a piston-engined aircraft with its pistons and cylinders just like your car, except being, except that rather than being arranged in a straight line or a V or opposing uh, cylinder arrangement, these are arranged with the uh, cylinders in a circle around a central propeller shaft. And in order to get more and more power, Rather than making the cylinders larger and making them too big to be uh, to be on the front of an airplane, they actually added rows of cylinders behind that first row. So typically, the aircraft would have seven or nine cylinders, and if they needed to get more horsepower, they would put a second row of seven or nine cylinders behind it. In this case, seven cylinders times two rows, 14 cylinders, giving it 1,700 horsepower. It was known as the Avenger, but it was actually had two different naval designations. One was the TBM, the other was the TBF. Grumman was the TBF, the designer, but it was also built under license by General Motors. Now, I'm going to fade the mic down, let's listen to the sound of this radio engine. Companies that designed the aircraft. That's a little pop. No, but I mean. You look at the airplane, you think, how could it go fast? And it actually flew about 270, 275 miles per hour with a 1,700 horsepower engine on the front. A right Cyclone engine, the Wright Engine Company, started by the Wright brothers. 14 cylinders, two rows of seven cylinders. They're going to do a run up, I believe, and make sure all the systems are working. And then they're going to take off. And shortly, we're going to be bringing in the horsemen in their Grumman F 8F Bearcat. Then Michael Goulian will take to the skies, still pressing on toward a 3 o'clock takeoff time for your United States Navy and Marine Corps Blue Angels. Celebrating 100 years of naval aviation, let's listen to the sound. You might hear a, an extra growl or a snapping sound, a very harsh sound. That could be the sound of the propeller tips going supersonic. Let's listen. sound of the radial engine.
subsequently. The Block Island is successful. One of the most successful dead reckoning. Dead reckoning navigation flight was that of yes, Bearcat. Uh, aircraft number three and four from the Guy Coast Sky Typers.